when you first start at Final Cut, it automatically creates an untitled library for you in the top left-hand corner. And you'll notice it also creates a event for you, an event for you, uh, and it titles it by the current date, which is kind of nice. Right? So if you're making a new show for the current date, it always has your current date selected. Uh, you'll notice a big import media button, which is really nice. You can just click that and start importing right away. Um, we'll move over here to the right a little bit. This is your uh, program view. So anything that you're playing over here in what's known as the browser will show up here. So you can select the clip over here and it will show. You can edit over here if you want. Um, down here where it says new project, you can create a new project here. This is also your timeline. Okay. So anything that you have your playhead over on your timeline will show up here in the viewer. And over here you have your inspector. So this window sometimes confuses people. Uh, it's a dynamic window, meaning anything you have selected, this window will show the properties of. Okay. So if I were to select a clip over here in the browser, it will show me the properties of that clip. If I were to click a clip on the timeline, it will show me the properties for that clip down here. Okay, This is kind of where you do almost all your uh, effects, um, audio levels, um, everything is going to be in that inspector window. Okay, Here's your toolbar here on the right. Um, the inspector button is the, the second bar from the right. You can turn it on and off. So if you ever for whatever reason your inspector window is not showing up, make sure you click that button and you turn it on. Um, I'll go through some of these when we get to that point, but you have things like you can create text, you can um, import audio from here, you can have uh, video effects, um, all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, you have your retiming tool, which we'll talk about that when we talk about how to speed or slow clips down. Um, you have your effects tool there. Moving over here, very important little window here. This is known as the HUD, the heads up display. Um, this is also a dynamic window. Um, if you start moving your playhead around the timeline, this will show you the time code of where that playhead is. So if you're at you know, one second, it will show you one second up here. And you might notice to the left of that, you'll see like a little number. It probably says 100 with a green you know, half arc or bar or circle, whatever, around it. That is kind of the, that is a percent of pr um, process that's going on. So for instance, if you have to render something in your timeline, uh, for those that were using FCP, uh, FCP 7, you'll note, you remember that a big window would pop up with a progress bar that would go across and say, oh, well, you have to wait eight hours while this renders, right? Well, FCP 7 got rid of the waiting. You can edit, you can work, you can import and start editing right away, um, it doesn't matter. And it will render in the background for you. Um, so you want to make sure you look at this as often as possible. This will tell you what's going on in the background. Okay, So that will, will be a blue bar that kind of fills up and, and all that. If you click on it once, single click on it, a little HUD will pop up a window and it will give you a little more detail to what's going on, which is really nice. So we'll definitely talk a little bit more about that. Okay. And then on the left, you have all your normal uh, arrow tools, select tool, your uh, razor blade, your slip slide roll tool, your, um, um, and your uh, clip hiding uh, rejection and stuff tools.